KX News at 10 starts now. Good evening and thanks for joining us for KX News at 10. I'm Renee Cooper. In our top story tonight, who controls North Dakota waterways? Attorneys General from a dozen western states want the Trump administration to halt a proposal by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers that they say takes away states' authority over their own water. North Dakota Attorney General Wayne Stingham said the water supply rule proposed toward the end of the Obama administration could allow the courts to charge for water drawn from its res reservoirs it manages. Attorneys General from Alaska, Montana, South Dakota and nine other states, including North Dakota, sent a letter to the Trump administration asking them to withdraw the proposal, something that has lingered for nearly three years. Stenzum says he thought the proposal had gone away, but attorneys general recently learned it was still being reviewed. In December 2016, the Corps said their intent is to, quote, enhance their ability to cooperate with interested part parties by facilitating facilitating supply uses of reservoirs in a manner that is consistent with the authorized purposes of the reservoirs and does not interfere with lawful uses of water under state law or other federal law. Now, Stingham said the proposal rule has implications for all states, but would be especially harmful to the six reservoirs of the Upper Missouri River, including South Dakota's Lake Oahe and North Dakota's Lake Sakakawea, the biggest reservoirs along the over 2,000 mile river. Stenzum says the Corps' proposal could require municipal and industrial domestic users of water from the reservoirs to sign a water supply contract and pay the Corps for the water. Well, in North Dakota, that one means 75% of the Missouri River water could be subjected to what Stenzum is calling unlawful fees.